Oh God, we just thank you this morning just for this privilege and opportunity to come and to study the Word of God. We thank you for the Spirit of God being here to give us insight and revelation of this Word into our lives. Now, Father, we thank you that even as the Word of God goes forth, it will not return void, but it will accomplish in our lives what you intend for it to do. We thank you, Father, and we rejoice over the fact that you love us, love us enough to give us a word from heaven. Mm. And so we praise you, we honor you, and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, I, was, I was on Facebook the other day, and I was just kind of, you know, browsing through some of, some of the things, uh, that comments that people make. And I was looking at something my cousin, his name is Chris Coleman, and uh, he was talking about his wife. And I thought it was, you know, it just kind of, I don't typically read that stuff, but it just kind of caught my attention. And uh, here's what he said. He said, my best friend, my best friend to the very end, three exclamation points. He said, some say favor ain't fair. Newsflash. I am not trying to throw her back because I don't deserve her. He that finds a wife finds a good thing and Amen. obtains favor with the Lord. Mm -hmm. He says, Lord, I thank you for the favor I received by having this wonderful lady in my, as my wife. I am so glad God hid the real you from all the others and revealed it to little old me. Just... <laughs> Just think I was about to introduce you to someone else. <laughs> said, wow. He said, can you say it slow? Favor ain't about deserving. It is about an appreciation, awareness, and an attitude of gratitude unto a holy God for what he has done for you. Amen. 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 Woo, praise Amen. God. And that blessed me. And so when I was reading that, the, the, the Spirit of God gave me a message. Real simple. I'm going to call him up today and give him credit for it. Uh, something entitled, Favor Isn't Fair. Amen. If we got what we deserve from God, none of us would be sitting here today. Lord have mercy. Isn't that the truth? I mean, he would have just, just, just said, go ahead and open the ground, consume them all, and we'll just start this over again mm -hmm. to get a redo. But he didn't do that. And the thing I love about God because of his favor, a lot of times, uh, even, though, even though sometimes we don't see ourselves the way he does, he always sees the completed us. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we get lost, we lose ourselves in the process, don't we? Mm -hmm. We lose ourselves in, in the in the in in the where I'm beginning and where I'm ending, All right. and we get caught up in the middle. And so many times, it, it's very easy to sabotage your destiny. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to do. Yes. Have you seen people waste things simply because they didn't feel like they deserve it? Some people can't handle money; they get it and they just want to give it all away because they don't feel like they deserve it, or they will drink it up. They'll go give it away. They will gamble it away. But somehow they will sabotage themselves from something that could be a blessing to their lives mm -hmm. because they don't understand that they're worthy of it. Mm -hmm. wow. yes, Lord. People do relationships like that. Yes. I've seen good men mess with this hurt bad I mean, I've seen bad men hurt good women. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Because they didn't know how to be a good man, because they didn't feel like they deserved mm -hmm. somebody like that. Yes. And they were always trying to get rid of them. <laughs> 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 So they just sabotage you. But you got to realize God doesn't bless you because you're so good and you're so great. That's right. He blesses you because he favors you. Yes. He blesses you because he sees you, you sees you beyond where you are. Yes. Aren't you glad he sees beyond where you are? Yes. You are Mighty glad. Mighty glad. Mighty glad. The word favor means an act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. Mm. That's what favor means. You live in favor. The fact that we are sitting here today born again because of our faith in Jesus Christ, that was God's favor towards us. It was undeserved. It was unmerited. We didn't do anything to, to get it. He simply presented us with a gift that says he can, this, you receive the gift. The gift can turn your life around. Amen. Look at that. Not because you deserve it, but simply because he favored you, because he saw your value beyond you. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Isn't that wonderful? He praise the Lord. That's so wonderful that he sees you that way. And rather than trying to live in your own ability and in your own works, you got to be open to receive favor from God. Mm. See, favor yes. will give you a job you didn't deserve. Yes, yes, Come yes, on, amen. Favor will give yes, you a relationship you didn't think you, you merited. Mm -hmm. Favor will give you blessings that you don't think. I, I, don't, I don't deserve two houses. God said, you don't have to deserve it. Jesus already did it. <laughs> that, there's a lot of people that can't receive being blessed because they, they don't feel like they deserve it. Well, you know, I've made all these bad decisions. God said, I don't care about your bad decisions. Look at the end result of Christ. Because mm. the Bible says, in him, we live and move. And have our being. Come on, amen. Right. It's always in him. Our life is here in him. Amen. 
and it's our lives in the in him, then all the benefits that come with him, we get and we just stay in him. Come on, amen, hallelujah. So I'm not getting what I deserve, thank God. I'm getting because of the favor that God has shown. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, now. Listen, throughout the world, we find God using ordinary people for extraordinary tasks. Mm -hmm. Many times, these unlikely people never looked the part for which they were called to do. Yet God handpicked them himself. Amen. I mean, you know, who? I mean, consider men like Samson. Mm -hmm. David. Mm -hmm. Elijah. Mm -hmm. Elisha. Think about the 12 disciples, unlearned and uneducated men, mm -hmm. called to change the world. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. see, the, see, the world would have said, no, you got to go to school and learn how to do that, God. Jesus, no, you didn't even hang to live in me. I'll make you a world changer if you just live in me. Come on now. Why? Why can't we be a world changer? Because he's a world changer. All right. And we're living in the world changer. So we are destined to change the world. Amen. Well, I just want to bless me, us for it no more. No, you, you got to get a world changer's attitude. That everywhere you go, you make an impact. Amen. Amen. Why? Because yes. there's favor on your yes. life. People will come yes, up and just want to bless you. I don't know you. I just want to oh. bless you. I receive it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know, you ever try to bless people and they go, no, 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 no. You know they need it. <laughs> see, the, the, see, what they're saying is, I didn't do anything to deserve this from you. God, no, we know you don't, but God favors you today. Yes. And if you would learn to receive his favor upon your life, he would do the extraordinary. Come on, amen. Yes. He'll take you beyond yes. the ordinary, and you can yes. live an extraordinary life full of God's abundance and grace and blessings. Amen. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to receive what I deserve. I, I'm trying to get my faith. The Bible says he should do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can imagine or think. Who glory according to the power that's at work within you. See he gives you his power so that you can have an opportunity to be more than you ever thought you could That's be. Right. Uh, See, we don't have an excuse for why we fail. Because the greater one lives on the inside of yes. us. Say that. Yes, he does. The problem is, we don't receive faith. Well, you know, I didn't do that right. God says, I got, I got favor. You know what we call favor? Grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Grace and mercy. Mercy is not what you deserve. Grace is not what you deserve. He does yes. it because he loves you. Amen. That the motivation of God to bless your life is simply because to show you how much he loves you. You. Yes. Isn't it amazing we can see we can receive Jesus, but we can't receive a new house or a new car or a better job or a, a nicer neighborhood. But we can receive Jesus. And yet he was God, creator of the universe, manifested and flat, and we can receive oh I received Jesus, but all that come with him. As a friend's benefit. But we convince ourselves we're not worthy. Come on, let's, let's just resolve this. Come on, say this with me. Say, I am not worthy. I am not worthy. But I am favored. I am favored. Ooh, glory. <laughs> I'm not worthy, but I'm favored. Hallelujah. I'll get the job when I don't deserve it because I'm favored. I know 10,000 people signed up for it, but I'll still be the one they choose because I'm favored. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, amen. God will eliminate my debt, not because I've done everything right, but because simply because he favors me. Amen. Yes, yes. So we feel we feel the need. We make things about work. Mm. You, know, I, I, you know, you know, you hear people. You made your mess. You got to sleep in it. Man. <laughs> you made your mess. You got to sleep in it. <laughs> you ever heard that? Well, we made a mess of it, but thank God, God sent Jesus so we wouldn't have to sleep in That's it. That's right. Amen. Isn't that true? Amen. We don't. We're not sleeping in our mess. Come, come on, all our mess was put upon Him. Oh, he who knew no sin became my sin. So that I could become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. Wow. Amen. Oh, because he favored me. Amen. Oh, because he favored me. And he favored you. See, what, what, what we have to learn to do, y'all, and this is the thing the Lord is showing me, it's not about your work. It's about your willingness to submit to him. And in order to receive favor, you have to submit. You have to say to God, if you want to give me something, so be it. You know better than I do. Mm -hmm. You want to put me in a mansion, so be it. You know better than I do. You want to give me a million dollars, so be it. You know better than I do. God's not stupid. Come on, amen. amen. He's not stupid. He ain't going to give you something without the intent of, of, of equipping you to handle it. All right. All right. But we, we convince ourselves, but I'm not, I can't handle it. How do you know you ain't never had it? <laughs> you say that. Jesus. 
I can't do that job. You ever done it? No. Well, how do you know? Do you get it? We convince ourselves that we cannot do and handle certain things because we have never done. But Jesus has paid it all for us. And he has fully equipped us by his spirit. The, word about, the Bible now says that you and I can do all things yes. through Christ who strengthened us. Amen. As long as we keep living yes. in him. All right. Amen. It's not about whether or not you're, you're, you're ill-equipped. You just got to know the one in you has been equipped to handle everything Amen. that comes in your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Look at Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9. I'm not going to be long this morning. I say that every time. But I'm really not going to be long. The good thing about pastoring, you, know, you can always come back next week and finish it up. Amen. Romans chapter 9, starting at verse number 1. Then we're, we're looking at the, the apostle. No, 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 I'm sorry. Let me read it. I'll catch up. Romans 9, 1 says, As a Christian, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not lying. The Holy Spirit alone, with my own thoughts, supports me in this. I have deep sorrow and endless heartache. I wish I could be condemned and cut off from Christ for the sake of, of others who, like me, are Jewish by birth. They are Israelites. God's adopted children. They have the Lord's glory, the pledges, Moses' teachings, the true worship, and the promises. The Messiah is descended, is descended from their ancestors according to his human nature. The Messiah is God over everything, forever blessed. Amen. Amen. Now it is not as though God's, God's word has failed. Clearly not everyone descended from Israel is part of Israel or a descendant of Abraham. However, as scripture says, through Isaac, your descendants will carry on your name. This means that children born by natural descent from Abraham are not necessarily God's children. Instead, children born by the promise are considered Abraham's descendants. For example, this is what the promise said. I will come back at the right time and Sarah will have a son. Mm -hmm. The same thing happened to Rebecca. Rebecca became pregnant by an, our ancestor Isaac. Before the children had been born or had done anything good or bad, Rebecca was told that the older child would serve the younger one. Mm -hmm. This was said to Rahab, Rebecca so that God's plan would remain a matter of his choice. A choice based on God's call and not on anything people do. All right. The scripture says, I love Jacob, but I hated Esau. What can we say that God is unfair? That's unthinkable. For, exa for example, God said to Moses, I will be kind to anyone I want to, and I will be merciful to anyone I want to. Therefore, God's choice does not depend on a person's desire or effort, but on God's mercy. All right. Or you can say God's favor. Yeah. Ooh, glory to God. See, it's not dependent, up, dependent on you in terms of you being flawlessly perfect. Oh, glory. Aren't you glad about that? Amen. If it was based on flowers and prayer, I would not be doing this today. That's right. That's right. You're doing this. I'd be doing this. But I'm graced to do what I do. Amen. You're graced to do what you do. Amen. Amen. With all your cracks, he still picks you. Amen. Isn't that true? Still, call, still gives you gifts. Still gives you talents. Still gives you abilities. Still blesses you. All the while, you're not deserving it. All the while, you look at yourself and go, I'm so cracked, I'm so broken, I'm so broken. I'm, so broken. I'm looking at Jesus, and he's and him, you're perfect. Amen. You look perfect to me. Amen. Come on, amen. amen. This is, uh, verse 17 says, for example, for example, Scripture says to Pharaoh, I put you here for this reason, to demonstrate my power through you and to spread my name throughout the earth. Therefore, if God wants to be kind to anyone, he will be. If he wants to make someone stubborn, he will. You may ask me, why does God still find fault with anyone? Who can resist whatever God wants to do? He said, who do you think you are to talk back to God like that? Can, you, can an object that was made say to his maker, why did you make me like this? A potter has the right to do whatever he wants with his clay. Amen. He can make something for a special occasion or something for everyday use for the same lump of clay. And that's God's choice. Yeah. Now let me say this. Thank God through Jesus Christ, you all have a call. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says every, he, that he has called you and his thoughts towards you are good and not evil. Mm -hmm. To give you an expected Amen. end. Amen. But see, the thing is, a lot of things we don't receive because we, he knows we won't receive his favor. You know why people go to hell? 
It's not because God wants them to go. It's because they won't receive the favor that he's given them through Amen. Jesus. Amen. And they choose. Well, I'm, that's why people say things like, well, I'll come to church when I get myself together. Well, why need the church then if you can get yourself together? No, you need, you need the house to help you be better. You need the house to hear the gospel to, to understand you're trying to work for something that has already been paid for. Because he favored you. God favored all of humanity by sending Jesus. Amen. Amen. I mean, every person on the planet is favored of God. They just don't know how to receive favor. Then the, the enemy convinced them, oh, no, you don't need Jesus. You don't need him. No, there's many ways to God. Mm -hmm. They're missing out on the favor of God. Oh, Lord. Amen. All right, look at Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. God will always favor you. Mm -hmm. He will always, listen, let me say it again. He will always favor you because you're his child. Thank you. And he's your daddy. He will always favor you. But, I, but I, I didn't, it, it don't matter. You, you're his child. Let me ask you something. As bad as your child is, could, could, oh, no, my hold on. back. As bad as your child could be, and you had the next door neighbor kid who wasn't your kid, but they were really nice. Do you honestly think, just because that kid's really nice, you go feed that child first over your own child? Ain't gonna happen. No matter how bad your child may be, you go feed your child first. Amen. So no matter how bad God's kids may act sometimes, he gonna still take care of us. Just because he's dead. Just because he's dead. And what, what, what that does is, it, what it should do in that child, that the Bible says we love him because he first loved us. Yes. And when we love our children in the midst of their badness, our goodness towards them will cause them to want to be good. Amen. We're not good towards God because we, we just decided to. We're good towards him because we saw how good he was to us. And then the more we saw his goodness, the more we said, I want to be like him. I want to be good like my daddy. Mm -hmm. And he began, and his love, listen, his love keeps pulling you into his presence. Mm -hmm. So he began to show you how much he loves you. Now, what if you wanted to bless your child, but your child kept refusing? And you knew your child needed it. How would you feel as a parent? You'd be hurt. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. son, I have, I'm the answer for you. That's what God is saying. Don't reject what I'm trying to do. I'm your answer. Amen. I'm presenting you with my favor. The prodigal son didn't deserve to be restored back as a son. All right. All right. His actions didn't merit that. But the father couldn't see him any other way other than his son. Mm. When that boy thought he was not worthy, what did the father say when he came home? Mm. Put a ring on his finger, put a robe on his back, and put sandals on his feet. Now what does all that really mean? He gave him external things. The ring represents a, an authority. In other words, in, 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 in that culture, mm -hmm. the ring is how they sealed their deals. Amen. So, you know, they had like a little wax. They contracted. They put the wax on it and they put the ring in. That's what they, the ring represents authority. Mm -hmm. Come on. It, the robe represents his righteous or his right standing. Mm -hmm. the, the, his, the sandals represent his ability to walk in his calling <coughs> even though he was imperfect. And all the father did, this is, was gave him external things to remind him of his internal position. All right. All right. All, right. all God can do is give you an external thing to show you who you really are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving you the car. I know you didn't deserve it. I'm giving you the car just to show you how valuable you really are. Oh, because I've seen people turn down. Oh, that's just too, that's just too rich. I don't want people to be talking about this. <laughs> and, God, and your father said, I, I really want to give this to you because I love you. And so it really becomes an opportunity for you to have a testimony about the goodness of your daddy. But you're rejecting the opportunity so that you can keep talking about you humble because you're riding around in a hoop with a bumper wired on. And, and the father said, I'm trying to upgrade you. I want to upgrade you so you look like me in the earth. You think God's up in heaven riding around on a hoop? Come on, man. Got some chairs with the wheels all broke. Little sickly horses pulling chariots around. Streets unkept. Come on, amen. You think God's living like that? No, he's living good. He's living good. And he expects you to live good. Now, when I say good, I don't mean you got to live, you know, you got to have a big and all that. But you should have, always have more than enough. 
And what that. you have should at least provoke somebody to some level of jealousy. Just say that. Come on, amen. Jesus was hanging on the cross. They, they was gambling over his robe. Mm -hmm. While he was up there dying. Mm -hmm. He apparently had something of great value that somebody That's wanted. Right Come on, amen. amen. But see, there's favor that God has for you. And favor don't have to be fair. Don't, look, get out of this mode like you feel like you got to deserve everything. Some things you come on when Christmas time roll around. Do you think your kids really deserve all those toys? No. Come on now, say that. <laughs> Good guys, I gotta go though, man. Thank you. Yeah, you know. You think they really ought to deserve them? No. You do it because you love them. All right. All right. Now, if you love your kids, let me tell you this on the side. No, don't go into debt for them. Amen. 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 That's just a side rabbit trail for you right there. <laughs> but 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 you you give them gifts because you love them because you favor them. Look at Landon looking at me. Boy, you are so cute. <laughs> cute. He's my first Christmas come around past. <laughs> now, has Landon done anything to deserve getting gifts for Christmas? Just being cute. Just being cute. <laughs> just being cute. That's it. Just being cute. My service to the people is just to be cute. That's all he did. To God, you're, listen, to God, you're beautiful. I know you still see the dirt and all, but God says, I know I see the diamond. Mm -hmm. I see the end result. Mm -hmm. You know, if I could bring little Lauren up here. Lauren, would you come up here? Can you come up here for me? Can you come up here? Just for one second, okay? I'm going to go keep you. Now, Mommy, can you come too? <laughs> yes. Now, come on. Hey. All right. <laughs> I got you. All right. I want you to stand right here with me. Okay? Let me ask you some questions. Mommy, can you stand right there for me, right? Try right where that water bottle is. It's right there. Okay. Can I ask you some questions? You have a job. You do. <laughs> oh, Daddy has a job. So Daddy goes to work every day, huh? Daddy bring home money to take care of the family? You so you bring home any money to take care of the family too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it right, ain't I? Nobody's. Nobody's. Keep it a little steady. So you drive. Oh, you drive. <laughs> <laughs> you drive. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you so you got a job. You bring home money, and you drive. <laughs> wow. You know, that's really amazing. Can you come and show me how you do that? Because I need to learn this. Yeah. Now, let me ask you all a question. How many times we give God answers like that? Mm -hmm. No, they ain't true. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we give them stuff over here. And it, this is where we get stuck. We get stuck at, because we don't know always the right things to say. Mm -hmm. And we get stuck here. And we can be stuck here for years. Oh, Lord. But when God is looking at you, he sees her. He sees a finished result that actually has a job. It's all right. Bring home the baby. Take care of the husband. Take care of the baby. Turn out beautiful little children like this. I mean, he, God sees you there when we see ourselves here. Amen. We see ourselves playing the role when God sees us in the role. Amen. Amen. That's what favor does. This is why he favors some people. Because they might look up, look real messed up right now, kind of look confused about stuff right now, but he sees them down here. All right. Amen. And what, the reason why he favors you is because he wants you to stop seeing yourself here and start getting his view and see yourself there. Yes. See, you are becoming... Amen. But, but you got a role play. Here to get to there. Amen. If you talk poverty here, when you get to there, all you'll have is poverty. Amen. But God comes along and gives you a word of favor. See, when you get a word that blows your mind, it's to favor you to develop a new way of thinking so you can get to there. Amen. So some of y'all, when y'all look at these beautiful young people, remember, mm -hmm. you start here. Yes, you do. But you end up there. Yes, you Good job, yes, Will. Good choice, bro. Amen. All right. Thank you, Miss Lauren. Very good job. You did really good. But that's how God sees us as children in our imperfections and not knowing the right answers to everything in life. He knows that. 
but he still favors you because he sees the end. Mm -hmm. yes, the Bible says he goes to the end of a matter and comes to the beginning. Mm -hmm. He doesn't work the way you and I work. He doesn't start at the beginning, doesn't work, didn't work this out, it has to end up. No, he goes to the very end of everything you are and then comes back down where you're just a child. And he speaks to you and says, follow me. Just stick with me. I'll get you there. And along the way, you're going to make some mistakes. But guess what? He's focusing on that end result. Because he wouldn't call you if he didn't qualify you. For whom the Lord calls. Come on. He yes. qualifies you. Why does he qualify you? Does he qualify you uh, at the point when you're, when you, that's mom? No, he qualified you before you even were conceived in your mother's womb. Amen. Who glory to God. He knew about your process. But his attention is the end result. Woo! Favor isn't fair. It's not fair. Thank God it's not. <laughs> Come on, amen. Thank God it's not. Thank God it's not. You can get what you never had. You can do what you've never done. And you can be what you've never been. And you will go where you have never gone. Amen. All because of the favor of God that's on your life. Amen. Amen. And don't go by how it looks right now. That's right. Because this is temporary. Amen. But God has seen the end result. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Amen. Glory to God. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. 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 Forgive yourself of your imperfections because you will always be a work in progress. Amen. Focus on how He sees you and not how you see you. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for this word this morning. We thank you for your people. And Lord, we just receive it by faith. Amen. The favor of God upon our lives. Come on, declare it. I declare. I declare that I receive, that I receive God's, favor God's favor upon my life. Upon my life. I will no longer, I will no longer reject the blessings, reject the blessings that, he is that He is attempting to put in my hand. To put in my hand. And I choose. And I choose to never sabotage, to never sabotage that, which the Father that which the Father presents to me. Presents to me. I, am I am forever changing, forever changing into, the into the image of His Son. And I will, and I will accomplish, His will accomplish His will for my life. For my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise